Hey there, on this video we are going to show you how to soundproof an interior partition wall such as this one. Now, why would you want a soundproof uh, room at all? Well, the world's getting louder, people are making home theaters, but there's other applications as well. Perhaps you want to, you know, keep the, keep the noise out of the furnace room or maybe the laundry room. The wall I'm, uh, wall I'm soundproof right now is actually the wall that separates the bathroom from this room. Now, why would you want to soundproof the bathroom wall? I think it's to keep those embarrassing sounds from reaching the rest of the house. And by embarrassing sounds, I mean the singing in the shower. You know who you are. Now, Roxol Safe and Sound is going to fit snugly on any wall that is 16 in the center and because at using a 2x4. But sometimes, such as this wall, check this out, you'll get obstructions. Okay, you'll have wiring and you'll have plumbing. Now, if I were to just put this Roxol Safe and Sound up against it, well, it's going to bunch up here and maybe here, and insulation actually loses its properties whenever you compress it. So in order to properly insulate this, I have to make a couple of cuts using this serrated bread knife. So because this is a big obstruction, what I do is I'm going to measure it out. It is at about 16 inches. So I'm going to score this at 16, coming down to the center. And the wiring is at about 24. Measure off 24. There we go. Now because the wiring is pretty thin, all I really have to do is score the bat about to the halfway and then I'm just going to relax it in the middle so it can surround the wire. But this is a bigger issue. This is a much wider obstruction. So knowing that it's 16 in the center, again I'm going to cut it to the middle. But then what I'm going to do, this is what, about 3 inch pipe? At about an inch and a half on each side, I'm going to put a V notch on one side and then a V notch on the other. Again, using this serrated bread knife because don't forget, Roxel Safe and Sound, like all Roxel products, they are made of rock and slag. So if you use a regular, uh, regular uh, utility knife blade, you'll go through them way too quickly. Okay, so having scored my bat, now I'm going to press it up against here into the fittings, into the studs, insert, compress, release, and look at that. See here, your drywall will now go up nicely. There's no longer a problem. Gonna continue up here with this wall, doing the same thing, measuring up to the wire, 31, score it in the middle, install it, and in a moment I will show you how to get around not only the plumbing, but also electrical boxes. Okay, so now I'm gonna tackle this wall. And this one is pretty tricky because not only do you have uh, plumbing, you also have wiring, and you have an electrical box. But the cool thing about Roxel Safe and Sound is that, you know, it's made of rock and it's made of uh, slag, so it's pretty rigid, and you can pretty much shape it any way you want, almost like, like a cake, really. So this is how I would tackle this problem. The plumbing is at 16, but it's not all the way through, so it's about 10 inches from the wall. So I mark 16 there, 10 inches there. I'm going to cut to the center of the bat. And like last time, because it's a big obstruction, cut a V notch about an inch and a half from the line, digging it out. It almost feels like digging out bread, you know, when you don't want all the, crumb, all the bread in the middle, using also a bread knife. Now, our wiring. We are at about 24 and a half, 24 and a half. Again, score it to about the middle of the bat. And because it's wire, again, it's not a very big obstruction. You can just sort of relax the opening with your finger. It should naturally just wrap itself around the wire. Now the electrical box. And this is where it gets tricky because you gotta sort of flip your brain, at least I do. What You're gonna try to bring the insulation in behind, which means now I'm gonna flip this over and I gotta remember, this is the bottom. And I'm gonna measure from 11 to about 14 and a half. Remember, this is the back and this is the bottom. 11, 14 and a half. The box is about two inches. Here's two inches. Now here's the, here's the tricky part. I want about one inch in behind the electrical box. So again, just like carving out a piece of bread or a cake, I'm going to bring it all down. Like breadcrumbs, pull them out. 
and there is my space for my electrical box. So, having made space for the wire, for the plumbing, and for the box, it should work. Safe and sound. Insert, compress, and release. Look at that. That, I would say, is almost perfect. Thanks for watching this video.